Hi everybody. Uh, in case we haven't met in person, I'm Emily Hodges. You might have seen me singing in choir or helping in the kitchen at coffee hour or even puttering in the garden. From Roger Birchhausen, head of the UU Partner Church Council, informing me that I'm one of the 2020 Steward of Partnership Award winners. And I'm very excited about that. I'm overwhelmed because Tom and Mary Darner, who started the program, uh, received this honor a few years back. I just love the Partner Church program. I've been to our uh, village in Yarod, St. Laszlo, Transylvania, Romania, four times over the past 20 or so years. And it means the world to me. Uh, Life is very much simpler there. Uh, most of them grow their own food uh, in the backyard. Uh, some of them still have wells to draw water. Practically everybody has a, um, a dish, outdoor, a dish antenna for internet, but not all of them even have telephones. Uh, I have a photo here, a picture. I, it's not a photo, it's a hand-drawn picture of the church which was built in the 1400s and has a beautiful bell tower. Um, they still use the bell to call people to worship. I'm going to put that down. The church itself has uh, wood floors uh, over dirt um, and beautiful red work which is embroidery of red thread on white background, all done by the women in the church. And a lot of it is 30 or 40 years old and has faded uh, quite a bit, but it's still so much simpler and down to earth in the literal sense. The village has roughly 250 people. And the minister that I know the best, uh, Reverend Mihai, has uh, retired recently and we now are sharing a minister with a neighboring village which is two and a half kilometers away. Very close but um, these people will literally, you can't admire anything in their house or they will take it off the wall and hand it to you. Uh, they are so hospitable but I'm very delighted to get this honor. I hope you all learn more about the Partner Church if you haven't already. We have quite a few. You're familiar with the soup and bread lunches that we have, which help support the bread program, whereby each of the elderly members of the village, of which most of them are elderly, who are Unitarians, get one loaf a week of bread very substantial bread and in many cases this is pretty much what they have to eat for the week. I know we're going through really difficult times here and my heart goes out to those in Transylvania because I think while their, their, their uh, separation is because of their separation in the village, uh, they are probably having a much harder time than most of us here. My best wishes to all of you, and I look forward to seeing you in church when we do return physically to church. Thank you.